Stop being so selfish. Beginning and that's all you need to know. Stop being so selfish. If you stop the video right now, you'll still take that lesson. But I get calls all the time. I'm sure you get calls all the time. People want to tell you about what they do, send you an email about what their company provides, blah, 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 all in the name of value, whatever that means. Because you don't really know what that means, pretty much because it's subjective and it means something different to everybody that you talk to. And so while you're creating some unified message that you can deliver to everybody in the name of value, you're really not providing any. That's a video subject for another time. But I want to tell you right now that you're selfish. And when you deliver your pitch, you are thinking of yourself and not your prospect. If you were thinking of your prospect, you'd have more success. If you were not so selfish, you would take that message and extend it two more steps before you actually tried to convey that message. One, what does your product do? What does your service provide? Two, what is the benefit that the customer or the prospect is going to receive by the uh, virtue of doing business with you? And three, ultimately, what does that mean for them? Sure, you provide a software product that increases productivity. Okay, what does that mean to me? That's where you need to be starting. Now you can start the conversation in a place that is going to actually be significant to me, the person that you are trying to give you money. Now, see, when you start it with your prospect in mind, now you're going to reach them on a level where they're actually willing to listen to you. But no, you're too caught up in your dial uh, statistics and the KPIs that you're told you need to measure. You are so hardwired to hit certain numbers and statistics that you're forgetting what you need to do, and that is to connect. And the way you're going to connect with me is by starting at a place uh, with something that's going to be significant to me. If you don't do that, you don't have a chance. So I want you to take two extra steps. I want you to stop for a minute. I want you to put the phone down. I know, I know. I want you to put the phone down and I want you to think about what the next person is actually going to derive from doing business with you. I want you to take two minutes and think. And then I want you to make that next call from that point of view. And I want you to do that and tell me how much more successful you're gonna be. Shoot me an email, reply to this video message, whatever you wanna do, but I guarantee you, you're gonna have different results that are gonna be much better if you would take that extra time, put that extra thought in, and think about how that message is being received rather than what you feel you need to say.